Hello, gang. We're gonna fight this uh, special enemy again. No, wow, you guys. I uh, guess we're not high level enough for them to ignore us. I like how the text bubbles above pinch and say like, did I do that and does it ring a bell? Alright, okay, let's level everyone up then. You can ca And let's uh, go for the special enemy again. Let's see, let's see, it's like... Oh, so that's what those bags were! Okay, so we we're gonna have to come here eventually.
Get him with the top ones, cute. Yeah, that was extremely painful, I can tell. I just realized Morag was dead. It sucks. Something is causing me to repeatedly take damage, and I'm not sure what. Okay, this is awkward. This is really awkward. Wow, we built up the team gates that fast, even though we had to do a lot of revival. That's really good. <laughs> this is a funny angle to fight him. I love it. Ah, oh, crap, now we're checking the others. Okay, I guess we're not finishing this quest anytime soon. This fight sucks. At least we load up her. Alright, let's get back to Adenine's quests, shall we?
you just leave it to me. I'll use my brains to put this team to good use. Oh. from here. So it's actually time this quest now. Yep, I thought it would be that place. ladder. Since we're here, let's just try and kill that dude over there. Alright, that was pretty cool. What's this? Oh! So that's what that- that's where I get the password! Clever! This is momentous. Oh, but what is this? Oh, there's robots here. She's in her own little world. Classic Adenine. Jeez. Adenine, stop running off by yourself. Hold up, Mia. Huh? There's something inside the room. Yeah, guardian robots. Okay, okay, we are gonna acknowledge them. An enemy. It would appear to be the room's guardian. Adenine, it's not safe in there! Save your breath. She's not listening. Bad news! Going for Adenine! Adenine, run! Stop the shouting! Can't you see you're breaking my concentration? What? You come in here and interfere with my research. I was just getting to the good bits, too. You're not going to put a damper on my curiosity and studiousness. That's a promise. Understood? Get the picture? Shut up and let me work. We probably shouldn't let Adenine have all the fun. 
let's get in there and help, Rex. This is new music. Interesting. Wow, how did more I die that quickly? I am disappointed. I'll kill these dudes. Well, I guess I'll just kill you instead. Considering he's floating, that doesn't really make much sense. Alright, got the tumble just in time. Alright, now I gotta kill these dudes that just stood there and watched. Oh no, we're just cameramen. We're not suited for combat. We're screwed. Ow, ow, ow. Summoning more minions. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, goodbye. Pal Sentry 369. Oh, they don't pay us enough for this. Ow, 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 ow. Farewell, cruel existence. Oh, no. Seriously, I thought we were done for a moment there. Hey, Adenine. Uh, suddenly I'm more afraid of her than those monsters. So, Adenine, will you be able to make use of this ancient wisdom? This room is like a witness to the ancient sophistication. There's all sorts of mind-blowing information stored here. It's a wondrous treasure trove of knowledge. I'm so very, very glad we all came here. Oh, it's overwhelming. I might faint. Um, anything we can use, like, right now? Nope. Nope. Deciphering the tones? And then that tablet-like device as well? All of that took considerable time as it is. But it was enough on child's play compared to the stuff in here. If I wanted to crack all of this, 
it'd take a thousand years. That is a long time. All you drivers would have to find a way to stay alive for me for all that time. Tora think that unlikely. You can always become a flesh eater and live forever. Classic Adenine. No kidding. Honestly, this is her environment. Like, if she just became a flesh eater and lived forever, she could just live, just study here forever. It's, it'll be kind of peaceful. Well, it's boring, but peaceful. Hey, Adenine, do you think it might be time to go? I think we've done enough. What are you saying? I've got no intention of moving. If you want to go back, then by all means, be my guest. I'll just live here from now on. Don't be ridiculous, it's got stuff to do still, but I don't want to, I don't want to be anywhere else. If I don't reach this place, who do you think will? This is of vital importance to everyone on Alrest. I give up, I can see your result. Fine, you can keep investigating until you're happy. Awesome, thanks Driver Dears, I just love understanding and I'm glad we've reached one. You're leaving the party. I wish I could have gotten another blade out, but I couldn't because of you. Does that mean there's an empty spot that gets no experience? That's kind of dumb. I'm so busy, busy. It'll probably take a thousand years to start the information here, give or take. But well, I guess it'll take me into my adventures if you like. I need to change the pace once in a while, or this single will drive me mad. I'm confused. What? You just leave it to me, I'll use my brains. That's stupid! That just means she missed out on experience! That's stupid! At least you leveled up the, the new girl. We got a buttload of cash from doing that. It's strange. Knowledge is a gift that keeps on giving. Phew. My conversation skills have improved. I mean, I did. Me, yes. Alright. So I keep you out then. Everyone. All right, I guess next we'll do Godfrey's quest. Let's do this one for a sec. Okay. Can also work on that if we feel like it. Assuming this thing actually has a quest marker. ask you about something. Friends looking for Hog Hall? You know, seen her since about to go away. If you want to know more about Hog Hall, please suggest ask a girl called Kruja. She worked at Rumbleton Canteen. Kruja was a good friend of Hog Hall do doing the same job. She probably know more about where Hog Hall go. Thanks. Help you. You're Crucial, right? Yes, that's my name. So, is there anything you know about Hargal? 
Hargal? Sorry, but I can't help you there. I hear the two of you are the best of friends, though. I don't know who told you that nonsense, but believe me, I'm not friends with that woman. Now, if you're not customers, could you get going? You're getting in the way of my work. Why are you so afraid to talk? I'm not afraid. I just want to think about that traitor. She's an incredible dancer. Everyone's darling. Banner's favorite. And then she betrayed me and just left. Is, there, is that something a friend would do? Does that, does that seem like it's going to be straightforward? What should we do? Leave it to me. I'll talk some sense into her. Oh, interesting. She's an incredible dancer. Everyone's. Oh. Okay, you're over leveled. All this griping isn't going to solve anything. Tell us what happened. That look in your eyes. There's a fierce passion behind it. it reminds me of Hargal, actually. I loved dancing since I was a little girl. That's why I came to Argentina to make my fortune as a dancer. I headed off with Hargo right away because we both had the same dream. So we really were best friends. Sure we were. We were practically inseparable. I told her everything. But her talent was the real deal, and I just couldn't compare. While she was shining like a star on the stage, I was just lurking in her shadow. She got all the attention from Banna while I was just a tag along. Naturally, when Banna took liking to you, it meant you got better pay. She got the best of everything, and I wasn't too bad off either. But then there was that huge scandal, Banna was ruined. After that, I couldn't support myself with dancing alone. I had to take up jobs at canteens and bars on the side. But even so, I was, just sat I was satisfied, because I was still dancing, still living, still living the life I dreamed of. It wasn't a glamorous or an easy life, but as long as I had my dancing and a friend like Hargle, I was still happy. But as it turned out, Hargle didn't feel the same way. It wasn't long before she got sick of our new situation. She said she had enough of dancing, let's Argentum. What was Hargal so dissatisfied by? No point asking me. I gave up thinking about her a long time ago. But do you at least have some idea where she might have gone? We need to find her. She said she's going back to live with her family in Alba Cavendish. More Dane. I guess we'll have to ask around there next. Tell me one thing, Kruja. You haven't given up on dancing, have you? Not just yet. I believe your passion for dancing and the friendship you shared are both strong and enduring. So if Hargal comes back someday, could you find it in your heart to welcome her? You know, talking to you has given me a bit of perspective on things. I get Parbies does still wish I could go back to dancing with her, so alright, I'll give her one more chance. Now that's the kind of friendship I like to see. <laughs> Good luck convincing her. If she still cares about dancing at all, you bring her back here. And it just goes to show you really shouldn't get too attached to people. I mean, friends come and go, Th things change, so... Just go on, go on worrying about yourself, and just keep dancing. Just keep doing what you enjoy, and that's dancing. Like, don't really worry about her. Uh. Alright. She's at the end, isn't she? That was a smoke. How do we go from here? Oh. Huh. Well, that's a strange place to be hiding. Why don't I have Finch out? Why do I still have Adenine out? That's that's stupid that she didn't get experience from that. Well, well, it's not like she she doesn't actually seem to have trust points. So I guess it doesn't matter, you know. Here's a new place. Alright. I've never been here before. Alright, I like it. Are you Hargal's mother? What's this all of a sudden? Who are you anyway? Don't worry about it. We're just looking to ask a few questions. Hmm, still sounds plenty suspicious to me. You're debt collectors. You're barking up the wrong tree. We don't have any money to pay. Unless you want to kill me and take my whole damn house. That's not what we're here for. We just wanted you to tell us a little about Hargal. Ha! Huh, why should I care about that hussy of a daughter? She just ups and does whatever she pleases. Never a thought for her old mother's worries. Isn't it your daughter you're really worried about? Oh, shut up! What does a stranger like you know about our troubles? Soul June Scram. Do we just gotta do Passionate Soul every time? Oh, no. Okay, okay, it's different each time. No, oh, no, 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 no,
go upward. Oh, okay, but that doesn't work here, apparently. I can't just stand by and watch. For some reason, I see that passionate look in your eyes. It reminds me of my husband. Where's your husband now? Well, he went out to war a long while, while back, got himself killed. All he left behind for me and Hargle is a pile of debt. And I've always been sickly, so I can't do much in the way of work. So naturally, we struggled to get by, and the debts just kept piling up. Kind of be easy raising a kid on your own, even without all that debt. Then to make things worse, Hargle started saying she wanted to be a dancer instead of finding a proper job. We wound up quarreling pretty much every day over that. In the end, she got so sick of our life of poverty, she gave up on me and just left him entirely. That's how she became one of Bennett's dancing girls. In the end, apparently, she did pretty well for herself. She even sent money home every month for my med medical bills. Not that I did anything to deserve it. I was never a good mother to her. I couldn't even support her when she tried to follow her dream. I was so ashamed of myself for failing to make my daughter happy. I could b hardly bear it. Deep down, all I ever wanted was for her to be happy. I wanted her to be able to dance to her heart's content. But I was never anything but a hindrance to her. With me around, happiness was always out of her reach. Sometimes I wonder if she'd be better off if I weren't around anymore. You idiot! You really think your daughter would be happy if you threw your life away? You're her mother for crying out loud. The only family she has. You're the only person in this world who can look after her. If you really care about your daughter, isn't it your job to watch over her and make a lot of life together with her as best you can? Yes. You're right, of course. I'm just setting a bad example of her. For her being so weak. Really, I should be the one standing by her side no matter what. If she ever comes home, I want to give her a proper apology. And I'll ask her if she'd like to stay here and live together again. That's more like it. Oh yes, that reminds me. I haven't seen Hargon in a long time, but she did send a letter recently. A letter? I have a big deal going down in the old city of Tendim. Soon I'll have a large sum of money. Once I have the cash, I'll come home. That's what it said. But I haven't heard anything since, so I don't know what happened. That's a bit worrying. Listen, I know it's not my place to ask this, but if my daughter is doing anything dodgy, could you set her straight for me? Of course, I'll do whatever I can. My burning heart of justice can't set your daughter on the straight and narrow, nothing can. Right, let's head to the old city of Tendim and find this Hargall girl. Don't be too harsh on her, alright? Alright, let's see if there's anything down here. Look like a Gormani. You're a blade, okay. Alright. Oh, is this how you're meant to get down to this little hideaway? Okay, well, I'm smart. It's this place. I guess it serves relevance now. Somebody! Anybody! Please help Jovaru! Do I hear a voice crying out for help? Over here! Please see Jovaru! Hang on! I'll be there in a jiffy! Ah, uh, of course it's a no pawn. Wow, you guys are gonna get creamed. They're all already enraged, that's adorable. So they know they can't beat me. They cannot beat me at all. Oh, this one's level 40. Alright, there's 40s and 29s. That's a weird combination. how Finch works because when she does that doesn't ring a bell stuff um 
it means you get another chance to use the same attack. That's why I'm able to use that hammer attack more than once. Because she's forgetful. She forgets that she uses the attack, so she's automatically recharged for another attack. That doesn't that doesn't make sense on a physical standpoint, but I really like it. Why are you just running from me down here? Well, that one just fell down there. Okay, this is embarrassing. He just kind of fell down there. All right, now these unrelated dudes are involved. Oh. What do you think you're doing? This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Thanks, friends, for saving. Chaturu, very grateful. Think nothing of it. I just did what any hero would do. What were you doing in a dangerous place like this, anyway? Mm, uh, just merchant business. Oh dear, so many merchant. What kind of goods do you sell? Go on, let's have a look. We might be able to give you some custom. Eric, uh, sure we not have any wares right now. What? You're selling merchant with nothing to sell? Man, 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 nasty monsters stole all of wares. They did what? Well, that's not good at all. Monsters we just beat up didn't seem to be carrying anything, though. Well, um... Is it just me, or is this Nepon acting really suspicious? Yes, I get the feeling he may be hiding something. Let's see if we can't get it out of him. Alright, this is gonna be a justice, soul. For justice. I think we sent him all those, all those merc missions. Look me in the eyes! These are the eyes of justice! Now tell me honestly, are you really just a traveling merchant? To tell not doing anything suspicious! Are you sure? Can you swear on your own soul? <laughs> There's something going on here. We need to know about it. Don't worry. No matter what the situation, we won't treat you unfairly. I'm here to help. Me, me, me. All right. Jaru tell friends everything. So you see, girl called Hargol hired Jaru to come here and collect three types of medicine herb. Hargol? And do you know what these herbs are for? Herbs for making special pond orb. Make body fill with twice as much energy as usual. Ah, run those old Nopon concoctions. I believe those are contraband in a number of nations, are they not? What? They're illegal? Pollen orbs are known for their addictive nature. Excessive use can cause terrible effects to the body. As such, I seem to recall training in them is entirely forbidden throughout Moradain. Friend's quite right. Hard call know that pollen orb training forbidden, but sell for high price anyway. I see. Thank you for your honesty, Jaruru. Jaruru, overcome with guilt at sight of flame with justice and eyes of friend. Not take on dirty jaw like this again. It rhymes. Could he tell us where these deals are taking place? Hargol should be there, right? Sorry, we do not know where Hargol is now. The plan was to sneak herbs in among our other cargo and have Sailor at Port Anagonum transport them. Port Anagonum, huh? Do you know the sailor's name? Name of Tuvari. Alright then, Tuvari, we're coming for you! And then he leaves. It's Savari, right? Joru told us about you. Oh, Joru sent you. Perfect timing. I was just running into a bit of a snack. We don't have enough cargo. Can you go ahead and fetch some more for me? Excuse me? I would never collude in an illegal smuggle. Shh, shh. Hang on a moment, Godfrey. What does it matter, Nia? I was just about to set this man on the street and... Look, Godfrey, we don't even know if this guy knows about the smuggling yet, do we? He could be innocent. What? An innocent man? Joru so said the herbs would be hidden in regular cargo, right? Let's play dumb for now and see where he takes them. Uh, I suppose that does follow a certain logic. Do you count on us to pick up the cargo, Mr. Tuvari? What exactly do you need us to fetch? Let's see. We're missing two titanic craniums and five ancient chalices. If you don't have any handy, you should be able to find them by salvaging. But make it quick! Uh, this doesn't sit right with me at all! But what the hell? Is this guy alright shining out all of a sudden like that? Don't worry, it's nothing. We'll be right back. Uh, of course it's salvaging.
Exactly, you have one. When did it get so late? Time for dinner in a bath. All right. Time for some treasure hunting. So was... Funny thing is, since there's a salvage point right here, I had a feeling he's going to have us do a salvage fetch quest. This looks like it'll be something good. So it's pretty convenient. Giant squids! Oh my god, that was terrifying! We should have got our salvage blades out. That is, that is just way too silly. Wow, he didn't get any of the other one. Okay, let's actually have our Solager Blades out. Yep, just leave it to Boris. Leave it to me. I swear this would better be the right salvage point. Otherwise, this is misleading. Oh heck, the game could be lying to me. Ah, clever, clever. Also, just don't want to waste my cylinders on this bull crap. It's not even the right one. Wow, we're just not finding any of them. All right, that's this is bull crap then. Oh, huh, didn't know there's an area under here as well. Oh, it's another uh, phonix. Okay, let's talk to a phonix since we're here. I've been sharpening my fangs for this day to come. <laughs> Thank you. 
Where's some of from another country the other day? He sunk into a Titan ship and made short part an egg and I was so surprised it turns business at you. They look just like me. I'm so sure we are much sooner than other fun I've I'm ordained, but there you go. Just because said we can adapt to any climate, be it cold, hot, humid, or arid. Marvelous, isn't it? Yay, alright. Oh yeah, there's a chest down here, I don't remember. Not really. Uh hmm. You know what? Even though I know we're not gonna be able to make progress on this, let's just do it anyway. Let's just at least go to the destination. Oh, is it just one of those situations where you just gotta ask around town? Well, this is actually convenient, because uh, I was actually exploring up there off-screen. So I can just show you how I got up here. Well, I mean, I think I already showed this before, but you know what I mean. Hey, excuse me. Hmm? What's that? You know the boy I sat the other day? Have you seen him around? Oh, you're that sparky girl. You're looking for Izzy, then. Izzy, that's his name? Yeah, he's used to playing around about here, but I suppose he's not coming today. Okay, I guess we'll have to look someplace else, then. Yeah, bye-bye, sparky girl. Hey, it's the Sparky Girl. Hmm? Because that poor Izzy again? Izzy's kid that Electro sat before? Yeah, poor little Dizzy Izzy. Uh, actually, I'm here to apologize to him. Do you know where he is? Yeah, right. I bet you just want to zap him again. It okay now. Electro learned to control zappy zaps. No more buzzy buzzy. What? Really? It's true. Electro tried to help friends with Paris not hurt. Whole reason why your attention looks directly sparkly because of Electra. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I wish I could have seen it. Okay, then I'll trust you. Hang on, Izzy's not around right now. Can he tell me where he is taken? He said he was going to collect some rare bugs or something. I don't know. He went off towards Coral Pool, so he's probably there. Great, thanks. I'm going to go look for him now. Fair enough. Just as you two are going to make up, okay? Sure thing. Promise. Guess we don't, have to, we don't have to talk to the other one, then. That is a good deal. I have stayed up there, perhaps. Let's 
go lower? A waste of time, honestly, because I know I won't be able to do it. Pretty sure I need to level, um, level her up all the way. What is this big ass trunk, though. has to be the place. Oh. There are level 70s here. This is not a good place to be. Wow. Yet we are definitely in some new territory. Sunk me out of nowhere. Yep, this is a bad place to be. That random bat is a special enemy. That's so weird. Alright, that was an interesting place we just found. We gotta go up to the pool first, and then we'll find it from there, I guess. Slid down this. Oh, Mama. I am mad that we missed that. But, oh, Mama, am I trying that again? Probably has nothing to do with the quest, but this just looks like a cool secret to miss. I love secrets that involve these slides. They're just so cool and 
and unexpected. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's probably where we gotta go down there. Damn right. Alright, who do we need for this? Alright, this would be easy. We just gotta get EG on out. wrong? Whoa! I almost jumped out of my skin! Oh, are those blades? Sorry to bother you, but you wouldn't happen to have any blades who can melt ice, would you? We have a few. I think we need to hear some details. Would it be our son? Yes, I think so too. My tribe, Arthurina, is all frozen up in ice. Don't ask. I can't fix it myself, so I've been looking for someone who can. I mean, it's only thanks to Therina that I'm alive. It's been a long journey. I can't believe it's been five years since I left Tantal already. Huh? I came here to Gromp because I heard there were some blades with really awesome flame power, but no luck so far. What's worse, I'm starting to feel Therina's power waning. I'm really worried. I don't know how to help her. So the thing is, could you could you be the flame-wielding blade that I've been searching for all this time? If I found you at last, please, please do what you can to help Therina. Leave it to me. She's at Dick Clay's uh, Altar Hill, near the crevice in the Tantley Snow Plain. Got it. I'm sorry, I'd really like to show you the way myself, but being this far away from Therita, well, it makes me very weak. I'll be sure to catch you up, though. Please, help her as quickly as you can! Alright, this was a lucky find. Alright, we're gonna forget about Electra's quest, because I'm pretty sure we won't be able to finish it anyway. Alright. This was... This was good. This was so lucky. I guess there's nothing really we can do with this. I see that little three, that little three diving board fin place there. That's cute. All right, but before we go, Geronimo! All right, that was fun. 